show mo uh, more of what we do on the ground and stuff on the missions. So I have now filmed a couple of uh, missions where I'm the ground guy or the, the loadmaster, and uh, yeah, try to give you another insight into the job from, uh, from this angle, this perspective. So my colleagues flying, and then I'm uh, obviously the guy who's filming this mission. So it's a quick one. It's uh, we're flying two guys up, and then uh, to the to a cell phone tower, or yeah, it's a cell phone tower, and uh, we're resupplying it with a diesel tank for a new type of uh, generator thing they have going on there while they upgrade until they get the power lines put up there. So basically we're gonna fly the two guys that are in uh, the back right of the helicopter up to the site and then drop them off. And then head back down, put the long line on and then fly two slings up. But I'm only gonna show the, the first one because it's so much, so much uh, ground time between the two slings. So it's really not that far uh, of a flight now guys on snapchat uh, not that much of a flight but if you see down on this terrain and the snow it's it takes hours to walk and it's a couple of minutes of uh, airtime it's a lot steeper than it looks as well it's slippery as shit it's a really nice day uh, but you might notice that the, the sun's not all the way out and that can cause problems uh, when going into land in uh, snow areas uh, with whiteout, but it's not that bad. There's not that much snow, and there's usually some rocks or some uh, like trees or some uh, branches and stuff sticking out that you can aim for. Uh, but you'll notice that when we get in closer, that it's uh, it's quite easy to lose uh, your uh, gauge on the distance to the ground. You see, as we're going in, you see all these little uh, twigs and stuff, twigs and stuff that uh, sticks out of the snow. That's basically what he's in. You can see now, right now, when the downwind starts to kick up the, the snow, it can become really hard to judge the, the height above the snow. We are down. The tail is clear. I jump out. I'm just going to grab some stuff from the back here. drop off. This is a type of operation that's pretty normal for us, uh, flying to the um, cell phone towers and uh, resupplying them, with, uh, or like not resupplying, but uh, flying uh, batteries and antennas and stuff up past the cell phone towers in the front there, obviously. It's really cold really quickly, so shut the door. One of the reasons I'm in the back is because you can see there's dual controls in this helicopter and uh, when landing light on, uh, where you can't set all the way down, it's, it can become uh, potentially dangerous to jump, off, jump over the controls in case uh, you slip on the way in or out and you can fall on the controls. And that goes without saying that will have pretty big consequences. has happened. Not to me, but uh, to people that I know of. type of approach. 
which here, if you don't have any reference to the ground, is uh, potentially really dangerous in wide eye conditions. So now he has the on the right side, so it's no problem. But uh, usually, uh, that is uh, not the way you want to do a snowy approach. A snowy approach. An approach to a snowy area as well. Again, because the road is about a 10 minute hike up the road here in, this, uh, in these conditions. at least like three of these videos uh, from the ground crew and just uh, readying stuff on ground and I'll try to do a commentary on them as well just so you get to see that as well because uh, I, put the, I, I will put out more sling videos but like this time of uh, the year uh, November, December, January, February it's so much bad weather that it's uh, it's really hard to get consistency going and keep the motivation up to making these videos or the ones that I used to make especially when they all seem the same to me so yeah, try something different here so he's gonna put me on this little hill that is straight down about 20 meters below the hook right now by that orange car in the road down towards the top of the screen between the two red buildings. For the next uh, couple of videos I will have, I got a chest mount, but I didn't have a chest mount for this video. fast and if you fall it doesn't really hurt that bad. Uh, 
so. So this is just uh, some equipment and cables that are going up first, and then uh, after we'll send up that tank. But I didn't uh, include that in the film because it uh, takes too long. It just takes too long. Let's cut in there. Okie so that's it. Nice and short from a different angle. See you next time.